Hello, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be talking to you about looking at the shared calendars when you are inside of the MacBook Airs Outlook program. Um, the need for this video basically comes down to, um, frankly, the first time I tried to do this in the MacBook Air, it really wasn't intuitive, and I was worried because my shared calendars weren't showing up. However, if I go under uh, Live 365 and I, I log in through the webmail and I look at the Outlook calendar on it, uh, it's great as far as sharing and sending calendars. And I will say that that's probably um, um, sometimes still my preferred interface because it's just really easy and intuitive to see these, those things shared, etc. However, if you're in the MacBook Air and you're inside the program, you probably want to see those shared calendars. So first thing you got to do is you've got to fire up your Outlook, uh, make sure that that is opened up. And of course, you want to choose a calendar here. When you do, um, with this checkmark box, all of the uh, different items on your calendar, and by default, this box is usually checkmarked. I'm just simply unchecking it to provide some privacy here for some of the people I'm meeting with. Um, but that said, it's the shared calendars that probably won't even show up um, unless and until you do this step of bringing them into your MacBook Air Outlook program. And again, it has nothing to do with whether you've actually shared calendars and they've accepted the shared calendar. All that is an assumption that's already happened. The trick is to be able to see it inside of the program. So just a couple of steps. In order to get the shared calendars, you need to go to File up here at the top, then Open, and then Other Users Folder. You're going to come to a box that looks like this. Uh, by default, uh, KY Schools and so on would be there, so this calendar is what you're trying to bring in. Um, in order to look up the user, then you just do last name comma first name, so Watson comma Adam, for example. Again, assuming that you've already gotten the shared permissions created and that's already been accepted, then what's going to happen is, is that it will find um, that person's calendar. It will uh, ask uh, and if it's okay and allow you to make permissions because going to an outside site to do that. So you want to say to allow and probably want to do this action each time. Check mark the box that says that. And it's going to populate, although it may take a few minutes to update, populate the functions of the, of the uh, different dates of the shared calendar here. So you'll see that person's name pop up, and if you check mark the box, you can see that particular person's calendar and that particular person's calendar only, if nothing else is check marked. Of course, I could check mark this box here, and I could see all of my shared calendars. And of course, if this check mark box here, it could combine all of my calendar items with one or more of the people's shared calendar items. We could see them all at the same time. So again, it's that uh, opening up the Outlook, going under File, going on under Open, other users folder is the uh, function that you need to do in order to see the shared calendars within the Outlook program on your MacBook Air. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.